All right. Now, James has been a marketer of himself in recent memory. Like, he's bounced around more in the last three, four months finding work when no one else in DFW would find work, which is exactly what Reddick's talking about. fantastic. What are you doing that nobody else is doing? And I'll plug resumes, not even his webinar, but his resume course. I give it to my, my students who buy into our mentorship program because it's so valuable to show up differently than every yeah. other resume out there. But you can also do it in other ways. So, James, you know, talk to people about what they should be doing, not just sending resumes. Beg. <laughs> just beg. That's pretty much <laughs> that's, that's what I do daily. I, I grovel and, and I beg for it. No, I mean, and so I'm going to address a question that was asked. Um, how many calls do you make a week? I don't, I don't remember who wrote it. I'm flipping through here trying to find it. But somebody asked a question. How many times do you contact an, a, an IA firm a week question. before you're you know, being a pest? Uh, the answer to that question is um, you can't call them too many times. That, and that's what that, I did. Yeah, I called every single day. Um, how I found work was by simply getting on the phone, calling the same people every day. Going, hey, I'm still here. I'm not going away uh, until you send me claims, you, yeah. you know. Um, I'm going to call you every day. So either give me work or we're going to talk every day. You know, I'm going to blow up your, I mean, it wasn't that drastic, but it was pretty much that bad. That's the idea. But uh, That's absolutely- that was the idea. And just in a network, guys, you, you, you don't realize the activity that you do today, where it's going to pay off in the future. Okay. Anybody that you make contact with today, six months from now, a year from now, that little contact, that little contact you make could flourish itself and you, and you get work from it. Yep. So, Again, people, and also this business is, and it's somewhat nomadic as well. I mean, people go from firm to firm. Even within the IA firms, people will leave one IA firm, go to another. And guess what? If you were the guy that was being the squeaky wheel, they're going to remember you. And some people actually sneak away with their contact list and some don't, you know. You know. But anyway, um, you know, it's, it's all about selling yourself every day. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm going to tell the story over and over and over how I ended up in West Texas and finding work out there was like, I was calling IA firms every single day. And finally, I said, guys, where do you have work? I'll go wherever you have work at. I just want to get some experience. And three IA firms, three or four IA firms, in a matter of a couple hours that I spoke to said, well, you know, if you can go to West Texas, we can get you some work out there. You know, that conversation happened on a Thursday. And the next Monday, I was in West Texas. You know, right. It was a no brainer. I just went out there. So, guys, don't be scared to take a risk and don't be scared to pick up the phone and call and ask for it. If you're just going to get your license and go sign up for a bunch of rosters and hope you're going to get work, you've already failed. Right. That's all I got to say. No, you're you're absolutely right there. I I, I, I talk right on that. And, it, and it, it's great to hear that you've got that, you know, being newer in the industry and you understand that because that's something there. I mean, that, that that's a sales thing. Is that a, a, people don't want to come off as pet, you know, uh, uh, they don't want to pester. They don't want to come off as annoying or like, what if they don't like me because I'm emailing them too right. much. And it's <laughs> if if you don't and, and I, kind, you know, I get it. I get it. You, you don't want to be overly aggressive. You don't want to be that guy that keeps coming up to you while all you're trying to do is look at a pair of pants. You know, you don't want to be that that person. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. That person sells. Pants. I can honestly say I've never had that happen before. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta be, you gotta be that person to get out there. Well, I mean, listen, you can, you can do it in a creepy way, or you can do it in an effective way. And if you can do it in an effective way, that's even better. So, you know, one of the things that I tell people all the time is like, well, you know, I feel like, you know, when I'm calling people every day, I feel like I'm being the pesky salesperson. Right. And I said, you know, you are in sales. I mean, you own your own business. You're independent. But, I mean, you're in sales right. by the sheer fact of the first word of your title, which is independent. Being independent, yeah, you have exactly. to sell yourself every single day. Yep. Well, I don't want to be a salesperson. Well, my first question to that person is, is like, have you ever had a date? Have you ever asked somebody to go out on a date? Well, yeah, I have. Well, they're yep. sales. Right. Everybody's you know, we're all I mean, that's, sale. We're that's all it. selling our ideas. We're all selling yeah. our ideas. We want our way. You know, you got to sell it, your settlement. Like when you write your estimate, you got to sell that. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, it's yeah. everything. Uh, yep. If you if you've got a PA, you're working with a PA. You're gonna have to negotiate. You're gonna have to sell. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you know, you might have to sell. 
No, you're under a PA, just punch him and walk off. (laughs) (laughs) No, don't do that. Don't take my advice on that one. Don't do it. Yeah, there's going to be a sound clip right there, and it's going to cut off. (laughs) 